Hey everyone. Uh, today in this video I'm going to be showing you guys our solar panel install. We decided to do 80-20 around the solar panel sort of for rigidity you know basically just for sort of a roof rack besides instead of just setting the panel on top of two bars like a lot of people do. So sort of want to walk you through it walk you through what we're doing. So here we have basically drilled holes down the side of the panel. Uh, the solar panel is 80 inches long um, by 39 and a half inches wide. As you can see, we're just sort of bolting them in there. And it basically is just a fastener that fits into the profile of the 8020, which you saw the 8020 slide, slide onto those. Um, and then of course you can fasten them down. Um, so here we're, we're measuring out our round bar for the front. And I chose round bar for just to keep it sort of aerodynamic. Um, looks better, it looks cool. Um, sort of a neat way to go. The solar panel is 39 and a half inches wide, and then we had to compensate for the extra 15, uh, 15 series or 80-20 on either side, which is one and a half inch. Um, so 39 and a half plus three inches, so 40, 42 and a half. Um, and it worked out perfect. And here you see the connectors that we, uh, we decided to use. Um, they're sort of these inside joint connectors. Um, a little bit different uh, than some of the other ways that people have done it, um, but they ended up being really strong. Once you fasten them in, they sort of dig into the aluminum, and they're they're quite strong. Um, so I use them all the way around. It's really simple. They are they are overpriced. They're too a bit expensive. I think they're like five bucks a piece from eighty twenty, um, and uh, but it made made it made it simple um, which I appreciate so um, so here we're just drilling out the the holes for the front so that we can go ahead and get those lockdown nuts for the front round bar completed Here they are. It's just a little tab, and that's just, it's just really simple. And then you can just you know you slide the bar down on those you know the slotted profile onto those tabs, and voila. up the rear bar 
This one we did two connectors with on each of the longer longer pieces of 8020 uh, just for you know again rigidity strength and then just connect them you know connect the rear bar to those brackets from DIY van uh, pretty simple the panel actually extends beyond what the roof rails will allow for the brackets in the front so we had to sort of basically make a small piece of 8020 um, you know and drop it back a little bit further um, which was cool it worked out it worked out really well I wanted to also mention that we actually went back on each leg that connected to the brackets uh, we went ahead and tapped tapped the aluminum and use the 5 16 bolts in them just for again uh, some more rigidity in it. it worked out perfect very easy to do basically the covers it's like a weather stripping for the slots really simple you just cut out as much as you need and you know pound it into the slot I wanted to also mention that the solar panel we're using is a 400 watt Jinko this is a half cell solar panel which means it's basically the packs are split up into two if one side is shaded the panel won't lose all its power so it's like getting the benefits of both series and parallel, um, which is really nice to have. <laughs>